Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a drama and war movie from 2020 called Zoya. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie's story begins with a girl named Zoya. She was an 18-year-old who joined the Soviet Union's forces. Zoya was incredibly beautiful and it's rare to see someone as beautiful as her joining the army. However, Zoya had immense love for her country and she was determined to fight for it. During the training, the Union soldiers were guided by their commanders with one clear message, to fight the enemies till their last breath and protect themselves from the German soldiers at all costs. It seemed like she was born to fight for her country. After that, the officer gives them their first task, to attack a German soldier supply truck. The officers lead them through a filthy alley with only one way out, death. Because if they were caught by the Germans, they would face a fate far worse than death, a torture that would chill anyone to the bone. That night, the soldiers prepared to disrupt the German truck by placing detonators, which were essentially bombs. As the German soldiers approach, the Soviet Union soldiers realize the bomb doesn't go off. The extreme cold had jammed the detonator's wire. Yet, with determination, one soldier manages to fix the wire and another sets off the bomb, completing their mission successfully. The soldier who fixed the detonator had been knocked unconscious by the blast. While the rest of the soldiers were preparing to leave him behind, Zoya couldn't bear to abandon him. She rushed forward to save him. At that moment, a German soldier engulfed in flames staggered towards them. Out of fear, Zoya froze in her spot, unable to move. That's when the captain fired at the soldier, which unfortunately alerted the other German soldiers to their presence. The Germans began firing at the Soviet soldiers, and all of them, except Zoya, were shot and killed. Witnessing her comrades die one by one, Zoya started to lose her confidence. However, her commander encouraged her and praised her bravery. Slowly, Zoya regained her courage. In a bold move, she even cut her hair short to avoid leaving any trace behind that could make her a target. A few days later, it was time for their next mission. The commander learned that German soldiers were hiding in a nearby village. The German soldiers had enslaved the villagers to prevent anyone from revealing their hiding place. The Soviet Union leader gave the order to burn down the village, hoping that the German soldiers would freeze to death in the cold. Zoya was part of this mission, but she didn't want to harm the villagers. She knew that if the German soldiers died from the cold, the villagers, left without homes, would face the same fate. The captain began setting fire to the houses, and Zoya's task was to set the remaining homes ablaze using bottles of alcohol. However, she hesitated and couldn't bring herself to burn the villagers' homes. By the time she stopped, the captain had already set fire to many houses. As the danger became clear, the German soldiers started shooting and many people were left homeless. Some even perished in the flames. The captain fled, but one soldier was killed by the Germans. To escape the German soldiers, Zoya had to hide the bottle of alcohol, strip off her soldier uniform, and disguise herself as a villager. With no time to waste, Zoya made her escape, but a villager named Tom spotted her. However, since Zoya was armed, Tom didn't try to stop her. Zoya continued running, but after an hour of fleeing, she collapsed from exhaustion and lost consciousness as the morning approached. Zoya woke up to find herself surrounded by dead bodies, the bodies of her fellow Soviet soldiers thrown into a pit by the German soldiers. She felt a deep anger towards herself for failing to complete her mission, knowing that many Soviet soldiers had died because of it. The houses that remained intact were taken over by the German soldiers who forced the villagers out, leaving them to face the harsh cold. The villagers were suffering greatly from the freezing conditions. Determined to finish her mission, Zoya sneaked into the village at night. However, she was caught by Tom, who urged her to stay quiet. Zoya, in her desperation, attacked Tom and fled. Hearing Tom's cries, the German soldiers arrived and Tom pointed them in Zoya's direction. Due to the cold and hunger, Zoya couldn't run far before the German soldiers caught up with her. The officers, wanting to break her spirit, began using psychological tactics to extract information from her. They were desperate to learn about the Soviet soldiers' plans and hideouts. Following the orders from their superiors, the German soldiers took Zoya to a room, stripped her of her clothes, and forced her onto a chair. They demanded information from Zoya about the Soviet Union's strategies, but she refused to speak. In response, the German soldiers beat her severely with a belt. They even opened the curtains, allowing other soldiers to watch her torture, all of whom seemed to take pleasure in Zoya's pain. They were convinced that Zoya wouldn't be able to withstand 50 lashes and would eventually reveal everything. But Zoya didn't utter a word, and after enduring the brutal beating, she passed out. 
Her bravery stunned the officers, and they realized they needed a new method to break her. They decided to force Zoya to walk barefoot in the snow at a temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius. Zoya was taken to a place where all the German soldiers were given permission to torture her. One soldier slashed her heel and pressed on the wound, causing her excruciating pain. After enduring this, Zoya was brought before an officer and in front of her they presented a Soviet Union soldier named David, whom the Germans had captured earlier. The officer handed Zoya a paper to read, which labeled her as a traitor. He then demanded that she reveal critical information about the Soviet Union's operations and hideouts. The officer promised that if she cooperated, both she and David would be allowed to return home safely. David, who was also in a desperate situation, pleaded with Zoya to consider the offer, hoping that this might be their only way out. David pleaded with Zoya to comply because he had a son waiting for him at home. He reasoned that enduring so much torture for their country no longer made sense, especially since no one from their homeland would come to save them. But Zoya, at any cost, refused to betray her country. She hadn't fought for her nation out of any expectation of reward but because of her love for it. Hearing Zoya's refusal, the officer, following orders, had David executed right in front of her. The officer tried to persuade Zoya by threatening that if she didn't cooperate, the other Soviet soldiers they had captured would be killed as well. Despite this pressure, Zoya remained resolute and provided no information. Frustrated by her silence, the officer sent her back to the German soldiers' quarters, where further torment awaited her. All night the German soldiers brutally tortured Zoya. They showed no mercy, going so far as to mutilate her, even cutting her breasts. The next scene shows the Germans preparing to hang Zoya in front of the villagers. In an effort to hide the extent of the torture, the officer orders a female soldier to clean her up so that no one would realize just how horrific the treatment of their prisoners had been. Zoya's body was covered in such horrifying wounds that even the female German soldier, tasked with cleaning her, couldn't hold back her tears. After some time, Zoya was brought before the villagers to be hanged. Just before her execution, Zoya looked at the German officers and soldiers and declared that her death would not be their victory, but her own triumph. Because Zoya never betrayed her country, even in her final moments, she stood firm. She hadn't killed a single soldier, but by enduring immense torture and sacrificing her life for her homeland, she became a symbol of courage. Her bravery inspired countless people in the Soviet Union, motivating them to rise up and fight for their country. In this story, we witness the war between the Soviets and the Germans. The Germans had more soldiers and far superior equipment. On the other hand, the Soviets had far fewer resources, sometimes only a single gun between them. They carried it not to fight, but to take their own lives if they were captured, as they knew that falling into German hands would mean a fate worse than death. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care, and see you next time.